In this video, I'd like to continue talking about finding angles in congruent triangles. And what we can notice with this example problem is that we have two different triangles and we need to determine a way to prove that these two triangles are congruent and also figure out what this missing angle is. So what we can notice is that this triangle EAD and this triangle CAB, they share this side length of 4.2, they share this side length of 4, and we also have these two angles that are across from each other. And remember that when you have two straight lines intersecting, that the angles opposite each other, these are called vertical angles, and these are equal. So we can write that angle EAD is equal to angle CAB. And again, this is because these are vertical angles. And since they're vertical angles and since they're equal, we now know that X is just 36 degrees. But we from here can also prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. Since we have side angle side for each of these triangles. And side angle side, this is one of our congruence postulates. And from this we can write that triangle EAD is congruent to triangle CAB. And we can double check that this is correct and in the right order. Since notice that we have CA and EA, those are equal, and we have DA or AD and AB, and those are equal. And since we now know that the two triangles are congruent, they're the same shape and the same size, we now also know that this angle E and angle C, these are equal to each other, and angle B and angle D are equal. And we also know that side length ED and CB are equal to each other as well. Now let's continue by looking at a couple more example problems. And in this one, we need to figure out the value of X in the figure below. And again, X is this missing angle. So let's start by trying to figure out if these two triangles are congruent to each other. And we can start by noticing that they share the three and a half side length. They share the two side length. And the two triangles also share this common side, which is CB. So they both have this side length, which means that they share three sets of equal sides. And we can use the side, side, side congruence postulate to prove that the two triangles are in fact congruent to each other. And we can write this as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. And you want to be careful with how you write this so that it matches up with the corresponding side lengths. And notice that we started at A between three and a half and two, went across to B, across the length two side, and then across the other side. And on the other triangle, we started at D between two and three and a half. We went across the length two side to C, and then went across to finish the triangle to this vertex of B. And now that we know the two triangles are congruent, we can figure out what this missing angle value is. And it looks like this angle is DCB. So angle DCB, well, we'll just read this in the same order. This would be equal to angle ABC. And we can find that here, ABC, that is this angle right here, which we don't know in this triangle, but we can figure it out. Since we know the other two angles, we can set up an equation. Let's call this X, since we know it's going to be equal to this angle right here. And we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we have 30 degrees plus 75 degrees plus X, this is 180 and let's subtract 30, so that brings us to 150, 
And from here, we can subtract 75 on each side. So we get that x is 75 degrees. So this missing angle up here, this is 75 degrees. And if we want, we can figure out the other two angles. This one here, this is also 75 degrees, since angle D and angle A, those are equal to each other. And this third angle down here, this is the 30 degree angle, since angle DBC, DBC is the same as ACB, and you can see that here, ACB. So the order, once you write this down correctly, will tell you which angles and side lengths correspond to each other. And let's do one final problem. And in this one, we again have these two triangles, and we need to see if they're congruent to each other. And let's start by just noticing what they have in common. So we can see that they share this side length of 4.1, they share the side length of 2.9, and they also have these two angles here, which are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are equal, which means that this angle and this angle have the same measure. And this right here, this EAD, this would also be 92 degrees. And from this, we can notice we have side angle side for each triangle, which means they are in fact congruent. So let's write that down. We have triangle EAD is congruent to triangle CAB. And again, notice the order in which we wrote this. We start up at this corner here, then go along the 4.1 side, then along the 2.9 side. And we did that in both of these. So side length EA and CA, notice they correspond to each other. And from here, we need to figure out this angle E, but notice that the vertex for that angle is in the same place over here. So angle E is equal to angle C. And you could write this with three letters if you want, but since there is only one angle E, we can just write it as angle E, or if you want, you can write it as angle AED, AED, and ACB. You can see that's true over here, ACB. So it depends how you wanna write it, but usually you can just write it in its simplest form. And comparing the two angles, we know angle C is 35 degrees, so that means that angle E, this missing angle, is also 35 degrees.